Shut up and sit down. Muscle Toy Review. I want to say thank you for listening. If you just stumbled across us on the interwebs, check us out at kfpodcast.com, at kfpodcast on Facebook, at Ken Fred Podcast on the Twitter, at Ken Frederick Podcast and all your other social media needs. Um, so today on the YouTube show, oh, also check us out on SoundCloud where we have fresh weekly content where we talk about all kinds of stuff. Different than this. Different than this. This is specific. That's more general. <laughs> so right. there you go. So we got Justin via satellite. Yo, we got Don. Hello, and then we got Brock, who's going to lead this one because he Hi. discovered cool. Old Yet another story. thing for him to collect. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I needed—something else to collect. But it's so cool. They are pretty cool. So back in the '80s, in 1985 to be exact, a long, um, long time ago. Oop, it was case. a long time ago. Mattel released a line of collectible figurines. I guess you'd call them called Muscle, which stood for millions of unusual small creatures lurking <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I, just, I did my research for this. So it turns out that it was originally a toy line in Japan, and so Mattel was trying to copy the success that Transformers had for Hasbro, where they just brought a toy line over and kind of twisted it around to make it their own. Okay. So they brought these guys over. And they they were based on a, a a comic series in Japan called Kinnikuman, Kinnikuman, which, which stands for Muscle Man. So okay. that's where Muscle comes. The Japanese from. get right to it in the name. They do. Yeah. They get right to it. So most of the characters are named like, you know, like Mega Man characters almost. Robot Man. Robot Man. Flying stuff like man. that. Bike Man. We have. We Forearm have Man. The Ninja. You know. Yeah. Just really generic general stuff. There's really no story to them. In the United States, when they came over in '85. There were only two characters out of the 400 and some that they ended up releasing that had names. That was figure number one and figure number two. Muscle Man and his arch rival, Terry Bowl, which is oh. like a Minotaur kind of guy. <laughs> Terry Bowl, I like it. <laughs> so anyway, the, the toy line didn't That's last. That's Terror Rising. Yeah, <laughs> Terror <laughs> Rising. Let's cut it in half. You have the last name, though. So the toy line lasted for about two and a half years, two and a half, three years. And they just pretty much kept re-releasing the same stuff, but in different colors. Mm. So the first wave was all flesh-toned. Yeah. But then after that, they started getting into the different colors and stuff like that. And the different colors are more rare than others. So they would release this blue guy here. They would release him. He was flesh-colored before. Right. Okay. But then they'll also have uh, green. I'm, I'm glad they did colors. The flesh ones kind of creep me out. Really? Did you collect them? No, but I do remember him now. No, they just creeped him out as he walked through the door. Now, <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, there <laughs> they used to come in either a trash can that had ten random figures in it, That's right? Yeah, and then they had blister packs that had four figures in it, where you could see what you were getting. Okay. Now, there's only about seven or eight figures from the original line that are actually worth money, hmm. and the rest are just fun to collect. So it's kind of like a fun thing to collect because you don't really have to shell out a lot of money for it. Even today. Even today. Because I just I've been looking at eBay, watching different stuff. So ones from the '80s, you could get some, and they're not like going like Transformers are. If you want right. Optimus Prime, you have to pay five hundred dollars. I mean, if you pay more than a couple bucks a piece for them, you're really you're, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Unless it's one of the rare ones, which so, I don't even know what they are. Okay, I was gonna ask. Like, well, the big it. one is Satan Cross. Is the character's name? Oh. And the reason he's rare is because. He has a hole in, the, in his in his abdomen because in Japan there was a second piece that snapped into him, hmm. which they never brought over to the United to the United States. So they only made a few of him because they didn't. What think was it that went him. into his body? Another set of legs. So he had, <laughs> he had four. He had like a, it was like a centaur almost. <laughs> That's weird. So, but then the, the toy line kind of dried up, and they quit supporting it because they moved on to He Man and all that stuff. Did they have a ring for these? Was they did. Accessories? That's right, they did have a ring. They had a ring and a championship belt. That's right. The, the championship belt, belt you, you put, put them in. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember that. It had like yeah. a clear front that, and the side panels flipped out. That's yeah. right, yeah. And the ring was kind of like Rock'em Sock'em Robots where you had two players. It was really flimsy. That was like a cardboard ring and like this cheap plastic. My sister and I broke ours. <laughs> 
that you would just like snap the guy in and then you would just wiggle this little joystick thing until he fell out. Yeah. My friend Sam he had this whole he had an entire wrestling federation centered around these guys where him and his brother in law would put him on the table and pound on the table until one guy ended up on top of the other guy <laughs> with his shoulders pinned. It's a good way to break a table. <laughs> they have a lot of creaky uh, table issues <laughs> in the house. So my sister and I kind of collected them. I pretty much got her dupes because she was older than me. I was younger, so she kind of just like gave me her duplicates. So I'm still thinking I'll find her collection somewhere. I have a feeling your dad was cool with you guys collecting these. Oh, yeah, He definitely. was all about yeah. these, these are very champion of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Find our archives and talk about I can see him being that. excited about you <laughs> yeah. collecting these or playing with yeah. these. Mm-hmm. And they weren't expensive then, no, either. They were maybe a dollar, I think, yeah. before. I remember I remember at, I'm trying to remember the store that was in Butler, where I got the trash can and two blister packs, because we were waiting to see if we won Steelers, or Pirates tickets, <laughs> and we did. Nice. That's Manny Faces. Let me see him. There you go. So they brought the they re- resurrected the line in 2002. Bandai actually brought it back. They originally made it in Japan, and the Mattel brought it to the United States. Mm-hmm. So Bandai brought it back as Ultimate Muscle in 2002, and they just released maybe three or four packs that were all the same. Okay. So they kind of just fizzled out right away. So I, I have those. I, I pretty much have all of those ones. But I went to Third Eye Comics last year, around around this time when my niece was born. We just celebrated her first birthday and went back. And I saw they had a couple of Masters of the Universe muscle packs. But they were called, like, M-O-T-U muscle. Like, yeah. It, they, I, thought it, I didn't think it was, like, legit. I just thought it was, like, oh, some, somebody has, they're making these knockoff figures. Yeah. So I said to my wife before we went back this year, I was like, if they still have those, I'm going to buy them. <laughs> Lo and behold, when I got back there, they had a whole aisle of this stuff. Wow. Like, ton, like so many different kinds. They had Mega Man ones, um, Alien, Masters of the Universe, three waves of Masters of the Universe Is stuff. it officially licensed Masters of the Universe? It is. So it it, is. It, it, they're not, like, just knocking it off. It, it's, uh, it's, it's like legit. Masters of the Universe... This is Whiplash and Ram mm-hmm. Man that we see here, Manny Faces. Okay, so cool. what happened was, whenever Maddie Collector went away, a company called Super 7 yeah. continued that that line of <laughs> uh, the six-inch figures. So since they had the license and they're working with Mattel, they're now making muscle figures. Hmm. And they're making them for all their different licensed products. They're Street Fighter, Mega Man, Alien... Um, they did a set of Lucha Libre characters, which I bought the whole... There's two packs, so I bought both of those at of the store. Yeah. No Mega Man, though? There, I didn't buy any Mega Man yet, but okay. I'll, I'll get him eventually. <laughs> and then, and Robotech is their newest ones. That's cool. Do you have any Robotech? I don't. Oh, I want to see some Robotech. Is it the mechs or the people? Both. Okay. I won't want the people. <laughs> you, I wouldn't know who the people were. Yeah, no, no one cares about the stupid people. They You want like the Macross suits and stuff like that. But they're doing all this stuff, and then they have their own. They're doing their own original characters called the Worst. There's good guys and bad guys, but these guys are the worst. And that's oh. the whole gimmick. They're a bunch okay. of like spoof of like horror characters and that's stuff. Cool. And then upcoming ones they have are Iron Maiden and Shogun Warriors. That's those two <laughs> totally opposite things. <laughs> totally. It is. I used to like the Shogun Warriors cartoon. That was that was fun. I'm How looking great forward would to it this. be if these guys could get a license like um, the Pop Vinyl people? Oh yeah. yeah! Like if they, like how who does pop vinyl? Funko. Funko. If, if they could get a Funko license and just put these out with like now we're doing turtles, now we're doing uh, gargoyles. Yeah, well, Here's a lost set. Here's some muscle golden girls. <laughs> yeah, I mean it would I'd be great. It. A lot of people would buy it if they they're could. cheap. You know, they're just. I'm surprised WWE hasn't got on this just because that they're going with all the retro toys that they yeah. used to do, mm-hmm. especially their association with Mattel, who yeah. has an association with Super Seven. Yep. You know, you could buy an fit. NWO pack. <laughs> yeah. You get like all the NWO and then well, you, a DX pack. You couldn't do the NWO because Hogan isn't working for the company. Yeah, no well, racist muscle figure. They, yeah, could, they, they could put him, him in there. Yeah. Yeah. there. There was an original muscle figure based on Hogan, though, wasn't was there? there? There has to have been. Because they did like a Dusty Rhodes. If there is, yeah. we'll put it on the screen right now. Yeah, we'll, look not, we'll do some research. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I kind of got into it. You know, I, I, I got excited. It was like my childhood right there. And the yeah. price point's good. They're $6 a pack retail. 
buy them from Super 7. A lot of people sell them. The store I bought them at jacked up the prices a little bit, which I found out later and got kind of annoyed. Yeah, well, of course. But they're six bucks retail for three figures, so two bucks a figure. And then they also still they've started making the trash cans again, which have an entire wave in random colors. But are they carrying these? Because with Toys R Us now gone, are they carrying these at like Walmart or Target? No, they're only at specialty stores right so now. So just your local comic book store, man. Mm -hmm. Does ours in this area have it? No, I checked with them. And you should get uh, get on them and start <laughs> selling it. There's enough around here. You can find someone that'll carry this if you buy it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, I guess buying them online be easy way to go. Yeah, the shipping was a little outrageous, but uh, it was ten bucks to ship four them packs of them. Oh wow! <laughs> but uh, Big Bad Toy Store carries them. They have the entire entire line, and they have they have two different things on there that you can use to save on shipping. They have one called Pile of Loot, where you can just keep accumulating stuff, and then they'll ship it for a low rate. I think Ken uh -huh. has two of them having sex over there. Already. No, they were fighting. <laughs> no, that's not what it looked Triclops like. Triclops and Manny Faces were fighting, <laughs> and I got a text. But no He-Man and Skeletor in the man of the... In, I couldn't... They didn't have those packs. They were, Jeez. They were in the first wave, and those were the only two packs that were missing, because they okay. split them into two different packs. That's a that's a must-have pack. I'm sure the He-Man one is uh, Man-at-Arms and Tila and, and He-Man. Uh, yeah, maybe Evil Lynn. And then it's Skeletor, Evil Lynn, and then... Is there a Beast Man? Beast Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's probably in that pack, Yeah, too. I'm pretty sure that's... I think you got it exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Score for Ken! <laughs> and then cool. the second wave had... There's even one of Castle Grace call <laughs> that they made in the uh, second wave. That's cool. And Battle Cat... And there's an Orco one. Oh, shit, one. yeah, you got to have a Battle Cat. They look yeah. great. I mean, I think they're fun. They're more detailed than the original, I think. Oh, yeah, they're definitely better. You but they, they feel the same. Like They look like they're part of the yeah. same toy line. But comparing them, yeah, they're definitely... The Street Fighter ones look a little odd, but they're stylized. Because, like, their head is so big. Yeah, is this, like, Ryu or somebody here? Yeah, I don't know why. They, they're it looks like chunky. Frankenstein. That's like a <laughs> Frankenstein head. Look you, at them. You look like Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> so de weird. You're messing up these. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's it. Um, check them out. Super7.com is where I bought most of mine. Put the link in the description. They have um, they have a promotion going on right now where 20% off all video game-themed ones. Okay. Oh. Gamer20, I think, is the coupon code if it, cool. if it still works when this airs. But There you go. Yeah, check them out. They're fun. They're easy to collect. They're, you know... They're small, so my wife likes them. All right. Put a little Elmer's glue on their feet and then put them on <laughs> some of the display. Well, there you go. We Muscle. will check them out. And thank you, Brock, for the no info. No problem. All right. And Ken. All right, everybody. Please like, share, subscribe, invite, tell your friends, and uh, have a good one. Good night. Bye. Later.